Here we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right friends welcome back to simply our home and if you're new here hi my name is Amy and welcome today I'm out here on our front porch and I'm getting ready to decorate so if you're excited to see this be sure to give me a thumbs up and make sure to stick around our front porch makeover has seemed to take all summer long if you remember we started out with installing our DIY vinyl railing and if you haven't seen that video I can go ahead and link that up above for you so you can go check it out but we had a few hiccups there which definitely took a few weekends to accomplish and then I added a few more projects as normal which was to change the color of our front door and paint our shutters so now that it's time to start assembling our furniture i'm getting super excited to start decorating this space so definitely don't click off just yet you'll want to stick around to see how all of this is going to finally come together putting together this piece which was made up of a sofa an ottoman and a coffee table took us approximately an hour and a half we got all of our furniture pieces for our front porch from amazon of course i was a little concerned about not being able to see touch and feel the quality but as we are putting this together i am super impressed with it we'll work on getting this all put together and then then we can start decorating. And so we've reached the point of no return where we're going to bring it up and place it onto our front porch. Even though I've did tons of measuring, I was still super concerned that it might not fit. So let's go ahead and place it up here and see how it's going to look. Whew, what a relief it fits. It might be snug as a bug in a rug, but I'm loving how it looks. So a few days later, my daughter Elena and I put together two rockers and a table. I definitely wanted the farmhouse feel of the rockers, but with a little bit of a modern touch. So I thought that this style fit the bill perfectly. So we just worked on this and knocked this out in no time. I also have to say that Elena is always so willing to help me anytime that I ask and I appreciate her help so very much. She was looking forward to getting this all done because she wanted to be able to sit out there with her Bible and just rock away. That brings us to today where we finally get to put all the finishing touches to our front porch. So instead of delaying this process any further, I'm not going to stencil our concrete like I was going to initially, but instead I'm laying down this beautiful rug from Amazon. So if you don't have the time, go ahead and pick you up a rug to cover maybe an old worn out concrete surface like I'm doing today. Thank you. 
In the area in front of our front door, I'm going ahead and putting back what I had there initially. It's in good shape and here in a couple weeks, I'll be replacing it with a new fall one. Now, if you are interested in seeing lots of fall decorating, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell, set it to all so that YouTube will show you all of my videos. I'm gearing up for a lot of fall decorating, which I'm super excited to share with you. So this is the assortment of flowers that I got for our front porch. We actually picked these up at Lowe's and they were 50% off. So the first one here is called Dragon's Breath. It says blazing color, loves the heat, and it's good through spring through the fall. So got two of those. And then I got a house patio plant. I love this, that I can bring it back in maybe um, during the winter. And then also in that video, my last video, we planted these. So if you happen to miss that, definitely go back and check that out. So we'll go ahead and get all these plants put in some pots and see how they turn out. I love creating a little vignette next to our front door. So here I'm placing a stool that I got from a local antique store. And then to it, I'm adding two lanterns that I picked up from Walmart. And then inside that, I'm using some battery powered wax candles that are from Amazon. And I'm just adding three to each and varying their heights. I think that's gonna really look nice and lit up at night. And then for a pop of greenery, I'm adding a Kirkland's plant. To the other side of the door, I'm adding this adorable planter that I picked up from TJ Maxx and then that patio plant to just add a little interest to this side as well. Next up comes my favorite part, which is decorating with all the pillows. And if you've been around a while, you know of my obsession with pillows. And for this front porch, I went with blacks and whites and lots of neutral colors so that during different holidays and seasons, I can pop in a seasonal pillow and it will still flow together very nicely. So I'm adding this blanket that I also picked up from Amazon and all the pillow covers, of course, are from Amazon as well as the pillow inserts that are for outdoor use. So again, I'm just using different patterns just to really make it a more designer look. Now it is time to style the coffee table and I did make some changes so definitely make sure you stick around to the end to see how it turns out. Then I'm going to add this book it says from God's heart to yours and it's actually from my mother-in-law and she has since passed but she gave it to me so it's super special and so from here I'll read you a Bible verse 
it is from Genesis 12 2. I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. We are moving right along and now it's time to add some decor at eye level. So we definitely don't want to forget the front door. So here I'm adding a very narrow basket and some of my favorite garland which is the green baby's breath from Hobby Lobby. Now currently we have a storm door but I'm wanting to remove that. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you think that's a smart idea or if you would keep it. The welcome to the porch sign from Kirkland fits the space absolutely perfect. I did want to mention that the siding hook that I got for the planner from Big Lots haven't showed up yet. If they finally do get here, I'll share that with you here at the end or in an upcoming video. Okay friends, so here is a look at our final front porch makeover. I absolutely love how it turned out. It has different areas for conversation, which I love. I hope that you enjoyed watching and that I gave you some ideas for decorating your front porch. You'll have to let me know down in the comments what you think. I thank you so very much for stopping by and if you did enjoy the video go ahead and hit that like button for me and also share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it as well. If you haven't already I hope you'll consider subscribing I'd love to have you back. If you happen to miss the videos prior to this of our front porch transformation, I'll definitely leave those down in the description box so you can go back and check them out. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next one, friends. Take care and God bless. Bye.